Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Art with Arthur's Projects. Today bringing you a 2005 Pontiac Sunfire with the 2.2 inline four-cylinder Ecotec engine. Uh, I bought this car a couple of weeks ago and when I bought it the AC didn't work and uh, the engine has a uh, ticking sound and these 2.2 Ecotex are notorious for the timing chain stretching and also the timing chain tensioner uh, over exerting itself or over extending itself I should say and it starts creating a um, a ticking or uh, knocking sound that a lot of people think it could be something uh, more severe but it happens on a lot of the 2.2 Ecotex, uh, Pontiac Sunfires, uh, Chevrolet Cavaliers, Malibus, uh, Chevy Malibus, um, Pontiac G5s, Pontiac G6 four cylinders, um, and various other GM products uh, with the 2.2 Ecotec. Um, I'm going to turn on the vehicle right now and hopefully. Um, Y'all can hear the sound that it makes. Uh, so here we go. You can hear it there. What you want to do is you're going to start by unclipping the ignition coil off right here. And then you're gonna have four bolts. One right here, one right there, one right there, and one right there. You take that off. Your ignition coil with the spark plug boots will come off. And then uh, there's gonna be a couple of screws all the way around the valve cover. Uh, one right there, there, there. Various ones all the way around the valve cover. Uh, once you take all that off, you can take the valve cover off and you'll be able to see your timing chain uh, with the camshaft gears and a um, guide that's up here at the top. So let me take this valve cover off and I will be back to show you all the rest. Alright guys, so as y'all can see I took the uh, valve cover off. Now, what I did forget to mention, and I apologize about that, is that once you take the bolts that are all the way around the valve cover off, there's also going to be one, two, three, four more underneath the uh, ignition coil pack. There's going to be four, and they're all 10 millimeters. Okay. Now on the opposite side, uh, where the uh, fill, uh, the uh, oil filler cap is, there's going to be two bolts right here. Um, these studs have 10-inch nuts. And that's going to be to remove those fuel lines that are right there out of the way. Then there's also going to be a ground strap that's uh, bolted onto here with the stud. Uh, and that takes a size 13 millimeter uh, to take off. But once you have that, now you can see everything is exposed. Um, I did take the cruise control module out of the way. Um, that actually was just bolted in with a... Uh, 13 millimeter bolt here and a 16 meter millimeter bolt here and then the uh, computer uh, it was held in by a 13 here and a 10 millimeter right here on uh, and then just this wire loom uh, holder that's right here so all I did was just uh, unbolt them and move them to the side and that actually frees up a lot of space now it's easier to take off this bolt um, just so I can move this a little bit out of the way and managed to get this um, engine mount out of the way as you can see there's bolts right here another bolt right here and one there and one there and you got to take all that out um, there is another bolt down in here I believe I'm not a hundred percent sure yet but um, I'm gonna try to take this off as a whole assembly um, so I don't have to remove the uh, coolant reservoir out of the way but um, if for some reason I can't there's one bolt right there holding the reservoir in and one clip right here 
Uh, then you have your um, overflow hose right here, uh, which doesn't go anywhere but down underneath the car. So you can leave that on there. And then just remove the clamp that goes right here uh, to the engine block. And you can remove this hose from right here or remove both of them from here, however you feel safer doing it. And then your reservoir comes out and you'll have more space. But what I did do is uh, I have a really small uh, pry bar here. And just really carefully I put it underneath the uh, in between the chain and the guide that's right there. And as you can see, I have play right there. And that's making my gear move a little. Which lets me know that it's overexerted or overextended. Um, so I'm going to have to um, probably change that out. But we'll see. I'm, I'm going to try and see if I can um, if I can change out just the tensioner and get away with that. But I'll show you all more once I get to it. Alright. Thanks. Alrighty. So as you all can see I took out the... Uh, engine mount that goes right there um, sitting right down here and I have one of these engine uh, support bars uh, if you don't have one Harbor Freight sells them um, tractor supply I believe sometimes sells them but uh, I got mine at Harbor Freight for like fifty dollars um, and that's what I've got the engine supported just a, a chain to the uh, engine lift uh, point that it's got right there uh, that's just supporting it now that bracket right there for the end uh, motor mount that goes right right here um, you don't necessarily have to take that off I think um, let me find out and I will definitely let y'all know if y'all have to take it off but what I did is uh, I went ahead and jacked up the vehicle so it's on jack stands uh, both sides now I'm gonna have to take the wheel off and then with the wheel off you can see there is the uh, harmonic balancer. I already took the serpentine belt off and the uh, belt tensioner off. Now there also is another motor mount that goes right there and it's actually this one. Uh, it's like a dog bone and all it does is it just goes mounted from that bolt hole right here to that other bolt hole that goes right there. So you know, you're going to have to take that off uh, so y'all can uh, lift and lower the engine uh, easier. So, but once you have that off, now it's going to be a lot easier to take that uh, serpentine belt off and uh, you can take off the uh, belt tensioner off and that's pretty much it. Once you take the tire off, like I said, you'll be able to access that um, harmonic balancer a lot easier. So you can take that off and then the timing cover, uh, lower timing cover that goes right there. So. I'll show you all how that goes here in a minute. Alrighty, so with the uh, wheel removed, as you all can see, the harmonic balancer uh, is in plain sight right there. Uh, this engine mount that's right here that I had told you all, uh, it goes mounted from that hole right there and that hole right there. And it's uh, long bolts, about maybe um, four inches uh, long. Uh, so it, it's a long bolt, but uh, yeah, just take those two out and that'll come out and then um, Take off your harmonic balancer bolt. I believe I used a 13 16s uh, to take it off uh, Once you take that off sometimes you get lucky and uh, you can just use a little bit of force I already took mine off uh, but uh, I just used the two pry bar method. I used two small pry bars one on this side one on this side And I just lightly lightly wiggle it and then when I feel that there's a little bit of play I just stick my hands right in here I stick my fingers right here and my thumb right here and I just pull out and it comes right out now There is a wood roof key in there uh, as y'all can see and there is a notch on the top of the crankshaft right there uh, so you want to make sure that you don't lose that key and that way um, your harmonic balancer will go in the right way. Now, once you take all that out, there's gonna be a couple of uh, bolts all around, and I believe those are gonna be 10 millimeter bolts, and those are all to take off your, that's where the, uh, I'm sorry, that's where the uh, serpentine belt uh, tensioner was. So I took that out, but there's a lot of little bolts all the way around, uh, and that's for your timing cover. 
Uh, so once you take those out, you should be able to uh, remove your timing cover and uh, check out your tensioners, your guides, and your uh, chain and see how everything is in there. Alrighty guys, I'm back to this uh, engine and I'm looking at the timing chain and the timing chain actually looks good but what I did notice is I don't know if my phone will make it out but yep there it is if you can see where I'm gonna be pointing to which is right there right where my nail is where my shadow is hitting that's what you call the timing chain guide and that bolt is the timing chain guide bolt this is a common issue on these uh, 2.2 liter Ecotec four cylinders that GM put out and what happens is that bolt breaks off from inside the the head where it goes screwed on and if that bolt manages to fully go out and the uh, guide is no longer there it's gonna make this super loud sound um, or if anything uh, it's gonna go to the worst case scenario which is it's gonna completely ruin your engine it, it'll um, make the timing chain get stuck it'll probably uh, break your timing chain and if it's an interference engine um, you're pretty much out of luck because yeah you're gonna be looking at a new engine um, or at least a rebuilt cylinder head and hopefully you don't have any damage down on the bottom but that's what you want to get taken care of and I see my issue um, I have already taken out the harmonic balancer I've got one bolt left uh, which is gonna be right there um, and then my timing chain um, cover will come off I have already drained all the uh, oil out of it and once I get this pulled out or pulled off I should say I'll show you um, if there's any extra damage uh, in there which there shouldn't be the car runs and drives great but it's just making that uh, loud tapping sound so let me get this taken care of and I'll be back alrighty so upon further inspection I noticed that this uh, balance shaft uh, timing chain the tensioner is bad if you can see I can press on it literally with one finger and this has movement so that tensioner shouldn't have any movement whatsoever um, so I know that this tensioner is actually bad so I already have the replacement part um, it's a Cloys 9- five three eight three uh, you can also use Dorman uh, if you wanted to and I believe the Dorman part number is four two zero dash one two zero but e either one of those will be the replacement for the balance shaft uh, chain tensioner right there uh, another thing that I got was a um, this is going to be one of the guides, uh, and the part number on Chloe's is 9-5381, and what it is, is it's the plastic tensioner that actually holds the main uh, timing chain um, from moving. So it goes bolted on right here, and it goes up into the, uh, through the block up to the cylinder head. And it's got the other uh, bolt right there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change it out just because since the bolt kind of um, uh, threaded out or broke off in there, um, I don't know what kind of damage could be done to that guide. So I might as well just replace it while I'm doing all this. So uh, just stay tuned. Alrighty, so as y'all can see, uh, I've put the new uh, balance shaft chain tensioner on there and now there's no uh, very little movement like they're supposed to be what happens is that this inside the shaft um, like this old one has this uh, little shaft right here uh, where that pin is and it pops out but it pops out in steps 
so it clicks every time you let it extend it clicks and what it does is it applies tension to the chain so as the chain stretches out a little bit this um, pin right here uh, will extend out and extend out and extend out so um, by replacing this one as you can see let me take this uh, pin out but here's the old one Let's see there's it gets stuck there and then it doesn't have any more movement but then you can see you can hear it's, it's messed up so it goes down and then it stays stuck and it doesn't want to go anymore and then see so it's no good I'm, I'm just gonna change it out um, it was only like $50 but it's $50 could cost you thousand dollars in the new engine so we'll get that changed out uh, the uh, guide right here is in place um, now all I have left to do is um, uh, reinstall my gasket uh, right there uh, reinstall the gasket reinstall the um, um, engine mount uh, bar um, then I can put my timing cover back on and uh, I can get my engine mounts put back on and valve covers and all that good stuff and we can turn it on and see what it does so let me finish up here and I'll show you all the finished project uh, once I get done putting all this stuff back on uh, hope this video was helpful um, if you liked it please uh, give it a thumbs up if it was helpful give it a thumbs up uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, I will be posting videos hopefully on a weekly basis um, and I appreciate it I really do uh, so uh, just keep tuned and we'll have more for you coming up soon y'all have a good day